Good happy Sunday morning. I'm Riley King and welcome to Good Morning New Hampshire. Let's get started. Laconia FS ends early Amdis conflicts with City. Laconia Fest officials announced Saturday on Facebook that the show will not go on after several bands canceled. Now, some staff members say they still haven't been paid and many who bought tickets want their money back. Rochester police are investigating case of pedestrian hit by car. A Rochester man is recovering after being hit by a car on Saturday afternoon. Westwood High School athlete becomes inspiration after traumatic brain injury. A Westwood teenager is an inspiration for her lacrosse team as she makes a courageous recovery from a devastating injury. New Hampshire Democrats roar as Warren attacks Trump as thick-skinned racist bully. After about 20 minutes of non-stop Donald Trump bashing at the New Hampshire Democratic State Convention Saturday, Senator Elizabeth Warren stopped, took a breath, and said, I really could do this all day. Additional antlers deer hunting permits to be available soon. Hunters who want to have the chance to take additional antlers deer in wildlife management units L and M in South Eastern New Hampshire during the fall hunting season will be able to buy special permits. Elizabeth Warren bashes Trump on Democratic State Convention. Donald Trump came under fire at the New Hampshire Democratic Party State Convention Saturday. Family of two-year-old drowned by gator at Disney Lagoon issues a statement. The family of a two-year-old boy who died after being pulled into a Disney lagoon by a gator issued a statement Saturday morning. Retiring principal honored at Concord High School graduation. Jean Connolly has spent 14 years as the principal of Concord High School. He was diagnosed with ALS two years ago and said 2016 would be his last year at the school. New Hampshire Democrats pass resolution calling for superdelegate reform at state convention. Before hearing from Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren and their own candidates for top office, New Hampshire Democrats passed a package of resolution including a call to reform the superdelegate system at their annual state convention at Bedford High School on Saturday. A trip back in time. Titanic exhibit to open in Portland. 104 years ago, the RMS Titanic sunk two and a half miles to the bottom of the ocean floor, and now you can see pieces of the ship in Portland. Funerals scheduled for fallen New Hampton firefighter. Funeral arrangements have been made for the New Hampton firefighter who died Tuesday. Manchester traffic light boxes get makeover. Artist with outside the box painted several traffic light boxes throughout downtown Manchester Friday. Guilford crash Friday, one arrested for DWI. One person was arrested for driving while intoxicated after a car 
accident in Guilford Friday night, police said. Five political numbers to watch. Five numbers that mattered this week. 33% Trump supporters who are very enthusiastic about him as the GOP nominee. 55% voters who say they would never support Trump for president according to Bloomberg politics. Sorry, that was 55. 35% Trump's vote share among white women in a CBS News poll survey. 19.8 million dollars amount Clinton has received to spend on Battleground States TV ads through July 25th. 101 points. Clinton lead over Bernie Sanders in California primary as of Friday night. And those are the five numbers that mattered this week. Why one man thinks the U.S. government should pay citizens a thousand a month. Take a listen to some of the video we have for you. I, that would mean conservative. I look at this idea and I think if if there are no jobs or not enough jobs in the future what do we do and and this is meant not as a gift but what but this is meant in order to provide economic stability and end poverty we, we are currently have a social safety net uh, to try to take care of care of people in need and what we're talking about now is a very old idea actually Milton Friedman and Richard Nixon passed it in the House twice, and the Democrats refused it because it wasn't big enough. And so it's an idea that says in order to make sure that everyone has a floor, something they can't fall below, that we end poverty once and for all, let's give everyone a check. I, I interviewed Milton Friedman several times before he died. And yes, he, he liked this concept or the earned income tax credit as well, but it was because he also didn't like the nanny state idea. Okay, that's uh, the video you heard. Former Vanderlit football player again convicted of rape. A jury has convicted a former Vanderlit football player on all counts after finding that he encouraged his teammates to rape an unconscious woman who had been dating. It took juniors a little more than four hours of deliberation Saturday before finding Brandon Vandenberg guilty on five counts of aggravated rape and two counts of aggravated sexual battery. In addition, he was convicted of one count of unflawless photography. Now let's take a look at your weather. Let's take a look at the radar. Here's a quick look at the radar right now. As you see, the radar in sky is all clear. Now let's take a look at our weather system. Your weather, your wind speed right now is three. Average is three. Current is near southeast in three. Your temperature is 63 degrees. Humidity is 80 percent. Heat index is 63 degrees. Pressure is 30.30. .30. Forecast is sunny. And your high record is 63. And your new low temperature record is 48. And that's a look on our weather system. Now let's take a look at your next seven day forecast. Here's a look at your next seven day forecast. And that does it for Good Morning New 
Hamster. We're gonna take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.